Welcome to this daily office with the Iona community, which is taken from the Iona Abbey worship book. The service follows the form of morning prayer which we use on Iona, and so there are different prayers and psalms each day, and, over the course of each month, a cycle of prayers for the world, for different communities, and for the concerns of the Iona community. The service is interactive and you are invited to join with the responses, psalm and prayers. You'll see all the words you need on the screen. Through the week you will also hear different voices, those of staff, of members, of associates and of their families responding along with you. The world belongs to God, the earth and all its people. How good it is, how wonderful, to live together in unity. Love and faith come together, justice and peace join hands. If Christ's disciples keep silent, these stones will shout aloud. Open our lips, O God, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Trust 
trusting in God's forgiveness, let us in silence confess our failings and acknowledge our part in the pain of the world. Before God, with the people of God, I confess to turning away from God in the ways I wound my life and the lives of others and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. my eyes towards the hills where can my help be found your help comes from god the one who made heaven and earth god will will keep keep you you from stumbling your protector is always at hand god keeps watch over everyone and never slumbers or sleeps god is your guardian at all times always close at hand in daytime no harm shall befall you at night your life is secure God will guard you from evil and protect you very so. God watches our coming and going, now and forevermore. Listen now in the reading of Scripture for the word and wisdom of God. The reading is taken from Acts chapter 5, verses 17 to 26. Then the high priest and all his associates, who were members of the party of the Sadducees, were filled with jealousy. They arrested the apostles and put them in the public jail. But during the night, an angel of the Lord opened the doors of the jail and brought them out. Go, stand in the temple courts, he said, and tell the people all about this new life. At daybreak, they entered the temple courts, as they had been told, and began to teach the people. When the high priest and his associates arrived, they called together the Sanhedrin, the full assembly of the elders of Israel, and sent to the jail for the apostles. 
but on arriving at the jail, the officers did not find them there. So they went back and reported, we found the jail securely locked with the guards standing at the doors, but when we opened them, we found no one inside. On hearing this report, the captain of the temple guard and the chief priests were at a loss, wondering what this might lead to. Then someone came and said, Look, the men you put in jail are standing in the temple courts teaching the people. At that, the captain went with his officers and brought the apostles. They did not use force because they feared that the people would stone them. For the word of God in scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us. Thanks be to God. Blessed are you, creator of all things. Open our hearts to your love and let us serve you in love and in peace. Make your home within us and grant that we may rejoice in your presence, O King of kings and Lord of lords. Support us all day long in this unpredictable life. And when the shades lengthen and the evening comes, Lord, in your mercy, Grant us a holy and peaceful rest. May God the Father who created us, God the Son who redeemed us, God the Spirit who sanctifies us, the Holy Three be within and without us. Bless us and keep us, Lord, now and forevermore. 
Amen. On the 23rd day, we pray for the renewal of community and the well-being of our own local communities. In these countries, Bangladesh, India, Sri Lanka, Pakistan, we pray for members belonging to the family group of Pemswele, Sheila Dodd and Alex, Liz Dowler and Tolly Peelan, Cassandra Hobbs, Malcolm King and Wenner Webbeth, Joy Mead and Ian, Alison Salisbury and Roger. And we pray for associate members in the USA West. Walk with them today, O oh God. And keep us on your way. O oh Christ, you are within each of us. It is not just the interior of these walls. It is our own inner being you have renewed. We are your temple, not made by human hands. We are your body. If every wall should crumble and every church decay, we are by your habitation. Nearer are you than breathing, closer than hands and feet. Ours are the eyes with which you, in the ministry, look out with the compassion on the world. So we bless you for this place, for your directing of us. Your redeeming of us, your presence among us. Take us outside, O oh Christ, outside holiness, to where nations clash at the crossroads of the world. So shall this building continue to be justified, and your people find cause to bless your name. Amen. This is the day that God has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We will not offer to God offerings that cost us nothing. Go in peace to love and to serve. We will seek peace and pursue it. In the name of the Trinity of Love. God is in community, holy and one. God it was who said to Abraham, pack your bags and travel on. God it was who said to Sarah, smile and soon you'll bear a son. Travelling folk and aged mothers, wondering when they thought they'd done. This is how God calls his people, losing all because of one. God it was who said to Moses, save my people, part the sea. God it was who said to Miriam, sing and dance to show you're free. Shepherds, saints and tambourinists, doing what he knew they could. This is how God calls his people, liberating what they should. Christ it was who said to Matthew, leave your books and follow me. Christ it was who said to Martha, listen first, then make the tea. Civil servants and housekeepers, changing places at a cost. This is how Christ calls disciples, finding those he knew were lost. God it was who said to Abraham, pack your bags and travel on. 
God it was who said to Sarah, smile and soon you'll bear a son. Travelling folk and aged mothers, wondering when they thought they'd done. This is how God calls his people, losing all because of one. God it was who said to Moses, save my people, part the sea. God it was who said to Miriam, sing and dance to show you're free. Shepherds, saints and tambourinists, doing what he knew they could. 